I have Sophie here with me today. She is a long coated Yorkie and we're gonna show you how I grew her. All right, so it's gonna be a little hard to see her because she ducks down a little bit, but for the shampoo, I'm gonna be using this keratin volume sulfate paraben free shampoo from Isle of Dogs. And then after that, I'm going to use a Keratin Arturo Cosmetics Conditioner. I really love this conditioner a lot. It smells great. And then afterwards, um, since she has such a long coat, we wanna make sure we can do everything we can to make sure there's no knots in there. And I'm gonna use this I Grew Magic Detangling Spray. I've showed you guys before. Um, I'll go ahead and try to tag it below in a link. And then I'll show you a video of when I'm drying her as well kind of show you the technique uh, to make her as least matted as possible. So a lot of times if you have a dog that has long hair like this, it's hard to make sure they're not getting all knotted up while you're, you know, bathing and drying them. You might get some knots in there, but we're going to be able to work them out with the spray and stuff that we have. And her mom keeps up on her really, really well. Um, so we're lucky to have her for that to make sure that she can keep her long hair and not be matted um, every time that she comes to me and uh, when I'm drying her you'll see I won't be able to talk because it'll be pretty loud but you'll see that I'm kind of spreading the hair with the dryer um, and I'm not just kind of moving all fast in crazy directions because that will mat it up so you're basically going to hold it and kind of let the hair blow but I'll do my best to show you that when I'm drying her. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and try to get as much water off of her fur as possible. Because the less drying that we have to do, um, the less matting that it is possible to get from that. So I use my Arturo rag. I uh, really like this, it's like a little shamwell, so it gets a lot of this water out, which is awesome. She doesn't get anything too fancy. 
basically I just trim up around her feet, tip her ears like the Yorkie way, put this in a little bow, um, trim up around her butt a little bit, uh, nothing too fancy. just started shaving her tummy too. So especially since she's not a show Yorkie, if we shave that little tummy here, um, that's really going to help with all the matting. Um, you'll still get some on the sides, so you have to make sure to be careful when brushing those out because it's a sensitive area. Um, but it makes it a lot easier for her maintenance and for the groomers and for everybody. And plus it keeps her a little bit That's where her body ends, and then this is all that beautiful coat she has. We're not going to be trimming it up at all. Mom likes it nice and long. So all nice and combed out. And I'm going to go ahead, and I ticked your ears a little bit already, so um, what I did was I took my clippers with my 10 blade, and then you just shave the tip of it right here. And then the tip of it right there, and I'm going to grab my shears really quick. Grab my comb. And then just kind of line it into the ear. I just do a little bit of a tip on her. I do that before I do the top knot, because um, it'll be a little bit harder with the top knot. if I think maybe I did it too tight, I'll take my comb and I'll actually put it in and lift up a little bit. This one's um, a little loose, so I don't have to worry about doing that. And then I usually try to match her bows with whatever bandana I'm going to use. So, I'm going to look for a bow real quick. I'm going to do a nice little pink bow. Feet. So what I like to do for that is you 
see all the hairs in the way, so it's a little difficult. So I'll blow it all to the side. Make sure it's brushed out. And I'll blow it off to the side like that. And then I'm just going to trim right around her toes. Just a little bit. going to just be the drying process and then making sure that they're all brushed out without hurting them. Uh, make sure being very careful. I'll go ahead and show you how long her coat is. Let's see her body. How beautiful, nice and long. She's better here than me. <laughs> so you can see. Say yes, yeah, Sophie. She's a very good girl. Um, just make sure that you get your clients on a regular schedule if they plan on having a coat like this. Um, otherwise, it's just going to get matted and we're going to have to shave it. And it's so pretty. So make sure they get on a consistent grooming schedule. And that's how you groom a Yorkie with a long coat.